If you remember back towards the end of the arrays section and how arrays are reference types, the values in an array are not actually stored in a variable. The variable has limited space available to it, so it stores a reference, sort of an address, think of it as an arrow in that diagram I showed you, an arrow to the actual array. And objects work the exact same way. So if I have my object I'm calling palette and I create this variable, Remember that palette is storing a reference to this object. If I made another variable called palette2 and I set it equal to palette, both of these variables are pointing to the same object in memory. Neither of them store the actual object itself. They are referencing this object. So if I change one of them, let's do palette2 dot, let's add in green. I don't have a hexadecimal color code off the top of my head, so I'm just going to make one up here. EBF876. Eh, it's kind of vaguely green. It's more yellow. But anyway, if I do that and I save, I'll run my code. You'll see that palette has been updated, as has palette 2. They're referring to the same object, the same thing in memory. So objects are reference types. That's really the main takeaway here, just like arrays. And because of that, you'll often see people use const, as we talked about with arrays. We use const when we want the reference to stay the same, like we always want to be pointing to this one object, but the contents can come and go. We can change the values, we can add properties, we can empty it out, as long as we don't reassign palette to something entirely different. In that case, we would need to use let, but if we're simply keeping the same reference and changing the contents, use const, and most of the time that's what we end up doing. So for arrays and objects, we use const far more often than we do with numbers and strings and primitive types, because we cannot change those. If we have a const and it's storing a number, it actually has space in that variable to store the, the entire value, the entire number. So we can't change that to be anything else. In the case of an object or an array, a reference type, all the variable stores is that reference. So we can change what's inside that object or that array, we just don't change the reference. So that's pretty much it. Objects, arrays, both reference types, we use const.